Dr. David Gruder is our special guest this hour. He's the author of The New IQ, How Integrity Intelligence Serves You, Your Relationships, and Our World. His website is www.thenewiq.com. As a mental health professional, uh, David, do you think that there should be certain screening procedures put in place in order to weed out the people who have psychological problems from acquiring weapons? Well, I like the sound of that. I think that uh, the the complications that are involved in that are are pretty significant in the sense of mm-hmm. um, how do you how do you do that screening uh, and who's going to do that screening and is that going to be in yet another level of government um, bureaucracy that's going to require more taxpayer money and uh, I mean it, it's it's a very it it seems like a simple question but it's got complicated implications. Um, and oh, and then of course, as a mental health professional, the most complicated of all of the implications is our limitations as mental health professionals in accurately predicting future violence. I mean, the best predictor of future violence is past violence, but mm-hmm. predicting the first episode of violence is a very um, unreliable thing. I would imagine the, and this is only my opinion, it doesn't reflect anybody else's, that if I was in government, I would suggest that a database be accessible to the law enforcement agencies who were responsible for issuing the permits when it comes to firearms, uh, the ATF, the FBI, and other uh, law enforcement agencies, that prior to being allowed to go to the store and pick up the weapon, or prior to even getting the weapon, that this person be screened through this database. But then you're going to have the people on the other side of the fence, the privacy advocates, who are saying, well, you know, the government uh, has too much access as it is. Why give them more? My opinion is the more information that they have when it comes to averting actions like happened in Tucson, Arizona last Saturday, I'm all for it. What's your opinion? Uh, my my opinion is uh, is that I would I, I always look at the bigger picture mm-hmm. uh, for better and for worse, Rob. And sometimes it's for worse. Okay. Uh, but uh, but the bigger picture for me is uh, the question of what steps can we take in order to reduce violence in the first place. What are we doing wrong as a society that that facilitates and promotes violence? And what steps can we take to uh, to raise children and educate children in a different kind of way? Well, and if we, we could come it. up with a system where whack jobs and nut bars wouldn't have access to weapons legally or illegally, I think that would be a right step, the the first biggest step in the right direction. Definitely, and then of course comes that question uh, again that we mm-hmm. raised a moment ago, which is how do you accurately discriminate the the nut jobs who uh, would be true dangers to themselves and society if they had a firearm from those who wouldn't. And uh, and so I think mm-hmm. if we're really going to take a step in that direction, then funding needs to be set aside for developing a truly high reliability, valid um, testing mechanism, uh, doable, implementable testing mechanism that uh, that can discern that David, I hate to do that. this, my friend, but we've just run out of time. Thanks very much for joining us, Exo Nation, Dr. David Gruder, www.thenewiq.com. I'll be back after the news at six and a half minutes past the hour. Don't go away.